Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you the worst crops to plant for each season in Stardew Valley. And yes, my voice does sound bad because I am very sick today, so bear with me. But when I say the worst crops, I mean the crops with the lowest gold profit per day, calculating the max harvests and the sell price with the seed price and the total growing days, which will give us a gold profit figure for each day. I made a video on the best crops to plant for all seasons so now I am going to hit you up with the crops you want to try and avoid if you are seeking massive amounts of profit. I will go through the three main seasons of spring, summer and fall and show you the three worst plants for them seasons. This is obviously ruling out flowers and fruit trees. This is just going to be crops alone. So let's get straight into this starting with the season spring. Okay, so the third worst crop to plant in spring is the garlic. This is a single harvest vegetable crop and costs 40 gold each for the seeds at Pierre's store. They take only 4 days to grow, giving you a decent maximum harvest of 6 per season. A basic garlic will sell for 60 gold each, giving you a small 5 gold profit per day. The second worst spring crop to plant is the potato. Potato! This is also a single harvest vegetable crop which will cost 50 gold each and they take 6 days to grow, giving you a maximum harvest of 4 per season. Jesus, it's windy out there today. Hey, wind! Do you mind, mate? I'm recording a video! One basic potato will sell for 80 gold, giving you also a 5 gold profit per day like the garlic, but this calculation is going by if you just get the one potato per seed. Because bear in mind, you can get the rare chance to produce extra potatoes per plant. But this is only based on your daily look, and this will only slightly increase the profit per day on them lucky days, still keeping this at number two. Now the first and the worst crop to plant in spring, which will give you the least profit, is of course the parsnips. These are great for XP to level up your farming skill, don't get me wrong, but they are not very profitable at all. Parsnip seeds only cost 20 gold each and take 4 days to grow, giving you a big 6 maximum harvest per season. But a basic parsnip will only sell for 35 gold each giving you a very small 3.75 gold profit per day. So that is spring covered, now let's move on to the sunny sunshine of summer. So the third worst crop to plant in summer are the radish. Radish seeds are a single harvest vegetable crop and they cost 40 gold each at Pierre's store. They take 9 full days to grow, giving you a maximum harvest of only 4 per season. One basic radish will sell for 90 gold each, giving you an average 8.33 gold profit per day, which is not too bad, but it makes it the third worst summer crop. And jumping into the second worst crop for summer, is wheat. The seeds only cost 10 gold each and they only take 4 days to grow, which is pretty good, giving you a maximum of 6 full harvests in summer. But if you do plant and grow these seeds in summer and fall all the way through both seasons, you could get a maximum harvest of 13. But one basic wheat only sells for 25 gold, giving you a small 3.75 gold profit per day. And the worst summer crop to plant, giving you the smallest profit per day, are the corn seeds. These cost a big 150 gold each and they take 14 days to grow, giving you a small maximum harvest of only 4. One basic corn sells for 50 gold, giving you a tiny 1.92 gold profit per day, making it the worst summer seed 
of all. Corn can also be grown in fall, and if you were to grow these through summer and fall, taking it all the way through both seasons, you can get a maximum of 11 harvests of corn, and this will increase the gold profit per day to 7.41 gold, which would make this second place, but just planting in summer alone makes it the worst. So I would recommend to plant corn seeds throughout both seasons if you want decent profit. Summer is over, let's move on to the rainy season, fall. Fall is hands down the best season of all for crops that can create the most gold profit per day. Fall has some amazing crops that you can plant that will generate massive amounts of profit, making it the main reason why it is my favourite season to play through. Farming in fall will give you the most money out of all seasons. So the third worst crop to plant in fall is the yam. Yam seeds are a single harvest vegetable crop that costs 60 gold each from the store. Taking 10 full days to grow, giving you a very small maximum harvest of only 2 per season. But one basic yam will sell for 160 gold, giving you a big 10 gold profit per day. That is very decent to say it's the third worst crop to plant. Now you can understand why fall is great. And moving on to the second worst fall crop to plant is the bok choy. Bok choy seeds are a single harvest vegetable crop also and they cost 50 gold each to buy from Pierre's store. They only take 4 days to grow giving you a big maximum harvest of 6 per season. The basic value of a bok choy will sell for 80 gold each giving you an average 7.5 gold profit per day. Still impressive results. Now, down to the worst crop ever to plant in fall, and we have already been over this one in summer. And of course it is the wheat. Like I mentioned in summer, you can plant these in both seasons and they will only generate you 3.75 gold profit per day in the exact same figure throughout summer and fall, making it the worst for this season also. You can obviously say the same for corn as well, if you're just planting them seeds in, in this season, it will generate the worst gold profit per day, but using summer and fall to plant corn will rise their profit high, so I've just ruled that one out for this season because we've already mentioned it in summer as well as the wheat. So there you have it guys, that has been the worst crops to plant and harvest for each season which will bring you the least gold profit per day. So if you like farming and you like to seek for big money and profit, try to avoid these crops and go for the big money makers. But no matter how bad these crops are for profit, they will still bring in some income and also are great to gain XP to level up that farming skill. So you can still plant these seeds of course especially if you are new to the game and you don't have that much money to buy the expensive seeds. These cheap seeds will start you off in the very first year, no matter how small their profit is. So that does come to the end of the video, if you've enjoyed it and you found this video some way helpful, please hit that like button and give me some feedback in the comments below. And if you want to know the best crops to plant for all seasons, there will be a link to my video that I made in the description below and if you are new around here and you want to see more Stardew Valley content then please subscribe to see more. But until then I will see you beautiful people on the next one. Stay safe, stay awesome and peace. Oh, I'm glad that's over. 